down because of a dramatic multiple crash that occurred just after the start. Let's see it again now in slow motion. They've just started and they're just going into Paddock Bend for the very first time at about 90 miles an hour. You will notice as they come down to the left of your picture as if one rider locks his bike. As I say, they're doing about 90 miles an hour. Impressive speeds going into this first bend. About in fifth or sixth place, you'll find in that bunch there, there's the lock, and five or six riders just cannot avoid him. And they just slew right across the track and into the barrier on Paddock Bend there. We think the man who first went down may well have been Pat Mahoney. Five or six riders went with him, and we know that only one person was seriously hurt. That was indeed Pat Mahoney left on the track. He had head injuries. He's from Welling in Kent, and he was taken to the West Hill Hospital at Dartford. We have no more information, but if we have any more news, of course, we'll let you know. They're still trying to sort out that melee. Uh, number 19, Steve Manship, was there amongst it. Percy Tate, number 8. Number 21, Ron Haslam, the young superstar who hit the international headlines when he beat Phil Reed twice at Cadwell Park, the meeting at which Barry broke his leg. And it's now really going to be a case, Barry, of how many riders will come back onto the grid for this rerun of the Superbike Championship final. Well, I can see Tate and Reed standing up there. They look OK, although Phil looks kind of though like he might be in pain, but otherwise OK. The, the guy laying in the track there is Pat Mahoney. Well, Barry, I think we've got a chance now to see that pile up again, and if you could talk us through it. Well, he's just coming into Paddock Bend now, doing somewhere in the region of 90 mile an hour. And it's in the right-hand side of your picture where all the action begins. Yeah, it's Will Hartog, I think, from Holland up at the front. As they yeah, go it's up at the there. front. It hasn't started yet. Yeah, now it's started. It's Reed and Croxford. They were the first two to go down. It's, it's impossible to say who the, what the cause was or anything. Well, the man who was leading at that stage was definitely number five, Will Hartog, the champion of Holland, the man who unofficially broke the lap record in practice this morning. Well, it's a very depleted field at the moment who have come back onto the grid. No one is quite sure what is happening. This must be a moment of real tension and drama for the riders. We're just trying to pick out some of the riders, Barry, on the grid. There's Barry Ditchburn, the man who at the moment is third place in the championship with the Kawasaki. Number 27 is Derek Best from Bristol. Number 15, Dave Potter, who is in fourth place in the championship series at the moment. Patrick Pons is the machine number three, the 22-year-old from Paris in France, the former French skiing champion. There's Mick Grant, the man who leads the series. He's got 92 points in the championship. He's Pons relegated to third. Yes, Newbold is now in second place. Pons is relegated to third. We look in number 14, John Newbold, from Jack Slade in Nottinghamshire, being chased by Patrick Pons from Paris, 22 years of age, in third position. So, it's the... Up at the top of the table, leading the race, it's the Kawasaki. The Yamaha is in second place. The Suzuki in second place. The Yamaha now third. So this is the battle for second place between John Newbold and Patrick Ponce. 14 is Newbold. Number three is Ponce, and here's Barry Sheen. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's smart's come along really good now. He's, he's pulled up really, really well. And um, he takes a bit of a while to settle down, usually, so we could see some hot stuff for him later in the race. And, of course, Paul Smart is Barry Sheen's brother-in-law, but this is a real race for second place. Pons is back into second spot. Patrick Pons, new ball, relegated to third. And we've got the watch on the gap between these two and the leader, Barry Ditchburn. Look at this race now. The leading cluster lapping the back markers, and Pons and Newball having a real battle now for second place. Patrick Pons is number three. There he is. Healing over the Yamaha on the fastest part of the circuit. Mick Grant was telling me this morning the accelerator over 140 miles an hour, and Pons is back in second place. Pons is second. Down to third place has gone Newball. In first up is there with them is Paul Smart. But still, Barry Ditchburn, number six, leads the race. And the green mini, the Japanese works Kawasaki, knowing full well that his teammate who has won the championship, Mick Grant, has gone out of the running. 
14 is Patrick Pons, number three. Number 14 is John Newborn. There you can see the gap between second and third. It's 1.24 miles circuit. 30 laps of it in this final double points round. The winner of the race scores a 30 points total. Normally in the championship in the seven previous rounds, it's only 15. Look at Newbold now, trying to get past on the inside. Pons holds him off as they come out of clearways. Newbold trying on the outside as they go down into bottom bend. Newbold is back in second place. Pons is relegated to third. Patrick Pons from France is now in third place. It's John Newbold, the butcher who sliced his way through into second place. Number 14 is Newbold. Number three is Pons as they go out of Druids. Swooping downhill at over 90 miles an hour, taking the left hander at bottom bend. And what a dice this is, Barry Sheen. Yeah, it's very good. I must admit, Patrick, Patrick Pons is a is used to riding in 200 mile races, so he's probably kind of pacing himself for the last five laps. Um, John Uvold's riding really good. Yeah, Pons is coming up, it's coming up towards the outside of Uvold. And there is the leader, Barry Ditchburn. Alan Ackland, my timekeeper this afternoon, working out the gap between him and the second and third man. There's the second man. It's still number 14, John Newball. Pons is in third position. And these two have really got the crowd on their feet. A big crowd here at Burns this afternoon. And they have drama and excitement, but this really has got them on their toes now, this fight for second place, with Barry Ditchburn having cleared away into the country and leading the race and looking as though he's going to take second place overall in the championship. But all eyes are on this battle between Patrick Bonds, now in third place, on the tail of number 14 on the work Suzuki, 22 years of age, John Newball. Well, of course, John Newball is a teammate of the injured Barry Sheen, and to predict what kind of a future this youngster has got, let's have a word with Barry. Yeah, it's, uh, the first year John's ridden a 750 was this year, and at the beginning of the year he wasn't showing too well, but he's come on and it's kind of a difficult, difficult bike to learn to ride, so therefore he's just been getting used to the power of it, and obviously now, as you can see, he's uh, got it under control. Well, of course, John Newball was run up in the British Championship last year. And now with 14 of the 30 laps gone, he's in second place and looking as though he may just be making up a little bit of ground on Barry Ditchburn. But right round this circuit, all eyes are on the battle for second and third positions between Patrick Pons, his 22-year-old, from Paris, an international star who has been doing very well in the Formula 750 FIM Championship the unofficial World Series, but at the moment, he's in third place, and the man who is just in front of him, and look how he closed the gap there! Patrick Pons really pounced on the throttle there, closed the gap, but new ball sent into danger, has pulled away again as they come out of clearways for the 15th and a half distance lap, and so it's John Newball in second place, Patrick Pons in third spot, and not forgetting, a way ahead of them, leading the race, in the all-green outfit, machine and leathers, is Barry Ditchburn on the works Kawasaki. Ponce tries an outside line to get round in there. But it's still new ball in second place. Patrick Ponce is third. And a rundown of the positions in fourth spot now. We've got John Williams on another Suzuki. In fifth place, we've got Paul Smart, Barry Sheen's brother-in-law. And in sixth spot, we've got number 15, Dave Potter, at the moment is fourth in the championship. But we're looking at the second man in the race, John Newball, 22 years of age. So it's Nottingham versus Paris at the moment for second and third places. But up at the front, Barry Ditchburn from nearby Northfleet leads the race on the works Kawasaki. Really keeping the fact, there he is, keeping the factory flag flying with his teammate Mick Grant sidelined out of the race but assured of the championship. This is number six, Barry Ditchburn. The man who is a real expert on this Brands Hatch circuit has been the king of Brands for the last two years and really putting the Kawasaki through his paces. And he leads by some eight seconds now from John Newborn with Patrick Pond still in first position. This is Ditchburn. Bottom down. It's one in seven descenders. Then we climb up into Druids. Accelerating to something like 95 miles an hour. Then down through the gears to take this tight right hander at something like 50 miles an hour. 
and pouncing downhill to take bottom bend into the bottom straight. Swing left again through South Bank and then right through the kidney section, which will bring him into clearways and the long right hander into the fastest section of the circuit where they took something like 140 miles an hour. This is clearways. And they twist in the throttle open now as he comes out of the corner, remembering that the fastest lap this afternoon is worth another 10 bonus points in the championship series. And Barry Ditchburn is now eight seconds clear of the second man, number 14, John Newball, who's still got his private battle with Patrick Bonds. This is the scrap for second and third places. The distinctive red there of John Newball and the Suzuki in second place. Patrick Bonds really fighting hard and still trying to round in on the outside as they go through Paddock up towards Druids, the right-hander. And still in fourth position, John Williams on another Suzuki 750 triple three. And into second place, yes, gone back into second place has gone Patrick Pons. Newbold is relegated to third. This is Pons, number three. Sponsored by a cigarette manufacturer from France. And one of the most promising riders in Europe today, just 22 years of age, a former school ski champion. And John Newbold is trying to take him on the inside now as they go down towards Paddington. Look at Newbold! Is he going to do it?